Hello everyone, so in this video we will be seeing how to evaluate the model assumptions that are made during linear regression by doing residual analysis. So when you are doing linear regression, you mainly make four uh, assumptions. The first assumption is that your response and the predictive variables are linearly related to each other. The second assumption is that the errors that you see are random fluctuations around the true fit line. The third uh, assumption is that uh, you assume uh, there is uh, equal variance among the data and also uh, the observations uh, are uh, independent of each other uh, or in other words there is no correlation between the data points. So how do you check uh, these assumptions? You do something called as a residual analysis in JUMP and uh, so basically uh, what you mainly check for is if there is any curved or uh, uh, or any kind of a relationship uh, in the residual plot and also check if there is any heteroscedasticity. In other words, heteroscedasticity means that uh, if your uh, uh, x value, for example, if your x value increases, your y value also increases and there is a kind of trend. And also you can check if there are any outliers. Uh, so let's see how to do the residual analysis in jump using an example. So here uh, I'm using the previous data set that I used for demonstrating linear regression. So I have a response variable and three factors. In this example, uh, we'll be trying to understand the, uh, the relationship between response and variable one and uh, see if uh, they are indeed uh, linearly related by doing residual analysis. So I open the fit y by x from the analyze menu in order to do the uh, linear fitting. And so first I plot the uh, bivariate plot and then uh, using the uh, red triangle option uh, I do the uh, fit line in order to do the linear regression and by default jump shows the fit line as well as along with some summary statistics. In order to get the residual analysis you choose the red triangle option next to linear fit and uh, you choose plot residuals. Here you can see that jump plots various diagnostic plots uh, for the uh, uh, residual analysis. So the first plot is the response residual versus response predicted. So here uh, ideally you want the points or the residuals to be randomly distributed and they are usually uh, approximately normally distributed. You can kind of see from this histogram here. Additionally, if you scroll down, you can see that there is a, a normal quantile plot uh, for the residuals and you can kind of see that these points are along the diagonal. So you can kind of see that the first assumption has been validated. Next uh, in the actual uh, by predicted plot uh, you can see that uh, the relationship is somewhat uh, it is indeed uh, linear. Uh, this again confirms that uh, the relationship between the response and the variable one is indeed linear and the residual by row plot and the residual by x plot uh, again, uh, if there are no obvious patterns, they are usually uh, randomly distributed about the center line or zero. And in this case, you can indeed see that they are randomly distributed. So in this case, you can now by looking at this residual plot, you can say that uh, uh, the response and the variable one are indeed uh, linearly dependent. And uh, uh, so the linear regression is a good fit. Uh, so this is how you can use the uh, diagnostic plots under the uh, residual analysis in order to evaluate your uh, uh, linear regression fit.